What's up everybody? So this could be a potentially huge week for the West Memphis Three. Damian Eccles posted this on his Instagram, which I will link in the description below, as well as put up on the screen here for you. His Instagram is at Damian Eccles. And this is the caption under the picture that he posted a couple of days ago. It states, the West Memphis Three seeks the right to test forensic DNA evidence in the murder of three children. New MVAC DNA technology could point to the real killers. After two years of lies and unnecessary delays by some Arkansas legal authorities that prevented the West Memphis Three's Damian Eccles from conducting state-of-the-art DNA testing on the evidence in the murder of three children in 1993. A court hearing to establish the right to test forensic evidence will take place on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, which is just two days from now. Today is June 21st, 2022. At the Crittenden County District Court in West Memphis, Arkansas at 9.30 a.m. before Judge Tanya M. Alexander. And then Damien Eccles writes, hey folks, we're a little over a week away, that's when he posted this initially, from the hearing in Arkansas. We're asking everyone who can to please show up. The only reason the state did not murder me is because the people are watching. S above is a small snippet of the press release about the case. Fingers crossed and see you soon. That's, uh, that's some... That's some strong words. And you know what? It's not the first time something like that has been said. I'm referring to he's worried about how somebody is going to kill him because he's trying to get the truth out there. Making a murderer, Stephen Avery's attorney, Jerry Buting, also stated this during Stephen Avery's trial. And he said he stated it so that if something did happen, the state would be held responsible. Um, it's absolutely crazy that the West Memphis Three are still having to deal with this. In my opinion, if you're out of prison on an Elford plea and still pushing to get DNA tested to clear your name 100%, to me, that means you're innocent more than anything else. Why would you risk to potentially prove that you did the crime? No matter how high or how low the percentage is, there is a chance, if you did it, that this evidence could come back and show that you did it. But Damien Eccles is pushing to get this evidence tested which, to me, like I said, proves that they are innocent. He would be absolutely crazy to risk this if he did it. And why wouldn't the state, if the state thinks they're guilty, why wouldn't the state just be like, go ahead, test the evidence, prove that it's the West Memphis Three that did do these crimes all those years ago? Or are they scared they're going to be made to look ridiculous one more time? And you know, that's absolutely it. If they turn it down, they know the West Memphis Three are innocent. They know they wrongfully convicted those three boys of that horrendous crime years ago. I'm not taking anything away from what happened to those kids all those years ago, but they should have the right people convicted of the crimes. Not the state taking the easy way out because they wanted to convict these three kids of this crime. Nope, it's time for the state to do the right thing. Admit they messed up. Admit they wrongfully convicted three people. And without a shadow of a doubt, tell everybody that the West Memphis Three did not commit this horrendous act. And then perhaps, you know, go after the people or person that actually did it. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you again soon.